Scene script. Have you ever stopped to wonder about the origins of mankind? Where did we come from? Our journey begins in the year 1935, when the course of our understanding of human evolution took a significant turn. Imagine the thrill of discovery when Robert Broom, a renowned paleontologist, stumbled upon the first ape-man fossils at Sturkfontein, a site that would soon become a treasure trove of prehistoric secrets. Broom's findings were not just mere fossils, they were a tangible link to our past, a key to unlocking the mysteries of our origins. These ape-man fossils were our first glimpses into the lives of our ancient ancestors, and they sparked a flame of curiosity that continues to burn brightly to this day. The significance of this discovery is difficult to overstate. It painted a vivid picture of our evolutionary history, a narrative that was previously shrouded in speculation and uncertainty. It was a tangible testament to the fact that we, as a species, have come a long way. But this was more than a personal achievement for Broom. It marked the dawn of a new era in the field of paleoanthropology. The Sturk Fontein site, where Broom made his groundbreaking discovery, became a beacon for researchers from around the world, a hotbed of scientific exploration and discovery. The ape man fossils found by Broom were the first pieces of a jigsaw puzzle that spans millions of years, and as we'll see, they were just the beginning. Over the years, Sturk Fontein and its surrounding areas would yield more secrets each discovery adding another piece to the puzzle and bringing us closer to understanding our place in the grand tapestry of life. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. For now, let's bask in the glow of that first discovery, that first tantalizing peek into our past, and remember that every journey of discovery begins with a single step. This discovery was just the beginning, setting the stage for a series of remarkable findings that would further unravel the mystery of human evolution. The following years were marked by a flurry of discoveries that would change our understanding of mankind's origins. In the heart of South Africa, the late 30s and 40s were a time of incredible scientific breakthroughs. The echoes of the past were heard loud and clear as stories of our ancestors were unearthed from the depths of the earth. In 1938, a young schoolboy named Gert Terblanche made a discovery that would etch his name in the annals of history. He brought Raymond Dart fragments of a skull from Cromdry, which would later be identified as Paranthropus robustus. This was a different kind of hominid, one that showed us a new side to our evolutionary journey. In the same year, another significant find was made at the Cooper's site, located between Cromdry and Sturkfontein. A single ape-man tooth was found, a humble yet potent testament to the lives that had once thrived in these lands. A decade later, in 1948, the first hominid remains were identified from Swartkrans Cave by none other than Robert Broom, the man who had earlier made the first ape-man fossil discovery at Sturkfontein. This finding further solidified the importance of this region in our understanding of human evolution. These discoveries were more than just fragments of bone and tooth. They were pieces of a puzzle that spanned millions of years. Each discovery added to an ever-growing body of knowledge about our ancestors, shedding light on how they lived, how they adapted, and how they evolved. The findings by Terblanche, Dart, and Broom were not just about identifying new species. They were about understanding our own species. Every fossil, every fragment, every tooth told a story of survival, of adaptation, and of evolution. These discoveries were groundbreaking, but they were only the tip of the iceberg. The stage was set for more revelations, more discoveries, and more pieces to be added to the vast puzzle of human evolution. The journey into our past was far from over. In the mid-20th century, an extraordinary discovery was made that would further revolutionize our understanding of human evolution. In the heart of South Africa, nestled within the cradle of humankind, lies the Swartkrans Cave, a site of profound archaeological significance. Here, a man named C.K. Brain embarked on a journey of discovery that would span over three decades. His relentless pursuit of knowledge led to an unprecedented find. The second largest sample of hominid remains ever recovered from the cradle. This was not merely a collection of bones, but a tangible link to our distant ancestors, offering us a glimpse into a time long past. Brain's work at Swartkrans Cave allowed us to piece together the complex puzzle of human evolution, providing invaluable insight into the lives of early hominids. But the secrets of Swartkrans Cave didn't stop there. In its depths, 
Brain uncovered evidence of the oldest controlled use of fire by Homo erectus, dating back over one million years. This was no small feat. The ability to control fire marked a significant turning point in human evolution. It provided warmth, protection, and the means to cook food, drastically changing the way our ancestors lived and interacted with the world around them. Think about it for a moment. The very flame that ignited the hearth of early Homo erectus that drove away the darkness and brought warmth to the cold nights was first kindled in the heart of Swartkrans cave. This was not just a discovery, but a connection to our very essence, a testament to our capacity for innovation and adaptation even in the face of harsh and uncertain conditions. In the end, the work of CK Brain at Swartkrans cave was more than just an archaeological expedition. It was a journey into our past, a voyage of discovery that transcended time and space, taking us back to the very roots of human existence. These findings were a testament to the complexity and richness of human evolution. In the grand tapestry of our history, each discovery adds a new thread, weaving together the intricate story of our species. And the Swartkrans cave findings, they represent a significant part of that narrative. In 1966, a new chapter in the quest to understand human origins began. This was the year when Philip Tobias, a renowned anthropologist, embarked on his monumental excavations of Sterkfontein, a site nestled within the cradle of humankind, a world heritage site in South Africa. Philip Tobias, a man of curiosity and determination, was driven by the profound question that has puzzled mankind for centuries. Where do we come from? His journey of discovery at Sterkfontein began in the mid-60s and would continue astonishingly for more than five decades, making it the longest continuously running fossil excavation in the world. But what makes these excavations truly significant? Well, it's not just about the length of time they've been running, it's about the wealth of knowledge they've unearthed. These excavations have peeled back the layers of time, providing us with a glimpse into our distant past and the journey of human evolution. Here in the limestone caves of Sterkfontein, Tobias and his team discovered numerous fossils of early hominids, our ancient relatives. These include members of the Australopithecus genus, a key ancestor in the human lineage. These discoveries have given us priceless insights into our ancestry and how we've evolved over millions of years. But the Sterkfontein excavations aren't just about fossils. They've also revealed ancient stone tools, evidence of early technological innovation. These tools offer a window into the lives of our ancestors, showing us how they adapted to their environment and learned to shape the world around them. The Sterkfontein excavations have also been a training ground for countless anthropologists, fostering a new generation of explorers dedicated to unearthing our shared past. And the work continues. Even today, the excavations at Sterkfontein persist, with each new find adding another piece to the puzzle of our evolution. The quest that Philip Tobias started over 50 years ago is still far from over. These excavations have been a treasure trove of information shedding new light on our evolutionary history. As we continue to dig, we continue to learn and the story of our origins becomes a little clearer with each passing day. The turn of the century brought with it more groundbreaking discoveries. In 1991, Lee Berger of the University of the Witwatersrand discovered the first hominid specimens at the Gladysvale site. This marked the first new early hominid site identified in South Africa in nearly half a century. Berger's work didn't stop there. In 2008, he unearthed partial remains of two hominids, known as Australopithecus sediba, at the Malapa fossil site. These hominids lived between 1.78 and 1.95 million years ago, adding another piece to the puzzle of our ancient history. Meanwhile, André Kaiser made his own mark on our understanding of human evolution. In 1994, he discovered fossil hominids at the site of Drimolan, further expanding our knowledge of early hominids. In 1997, Kevin Kiekendall and Colin Mentor of the University of the Witwatersrand found two fossil hominid teeth at the Gondolin site. The same year, Ron Clark made a significant discovery he uncovered the near-complete Australopithecus skeleton of Little Foot. Initially dated to around 3.3 million years ago, more recent dating suggests it is closer to 2.5 million years ago. In 2001, Steve Churchill of Duke University and Lee Berger found early modern human remains at Plover's Lake. 
That same year, the first hominid fossils and stone tools were discovered in situ at Cooper's. These discoveries have not only enriched our understanding of human evolution, but also highlighted the importance of continued explorations. Each new find, each unearthed fossil or artifact brings us closer to answering some of our most profound questions. Where do we come from? How have we evolved? And what does it mean to be human? These discoveries underscore the incredible journey of human evolution, a journey that continues to reveal new insights into our origins and who we are as a species.